only great for girls. Yeah, yeah. It was all because of that. Yeah. Why? Pardon? So you have you been out? Say hi. Say hi. Chris. Dean. Hey. Say hi. You're on camera. <laughs> Alexander's here. That's where we're heading. Somewhere out there. We're at Robinson's flat. Getting ready to go on the training run. Start my watch. Get rolling here. Now we are off. So you're running from over there to the aid station. For me, it's just, yeah, I mean, it's gonna be probably the longest week for me actually because I have not been. There's too much mud over there. Mm -hmm. I wanna get my shoes all muddy. Yeah, so I was gonna. Yeah, Alright, so we just got on top. Just a half mile climb at Robinson's Flat. So we're just. Starting this training run. I'm gonna uh, document it and show a lot of the trail videos that I've been looking for building up to Western. We're about four weeks away from race day. But we're gonna show a lot of the trail. So we get a good idea of what, what you're looking for too for those who can't make it out and run it. There's about a mile in, just heading down this dirt road. You can see where we're heading toward Auburn. Absolutely beautiful. It's exciting. Day one, 50K, 30 plus mile run today. Coming off this fire road. I like some of the views right here. We're just about mile three from Robinson. I, I signed up this uh, yesterday. Yeah, Cheap road. Just past my four miles. Oh, come here. Go left. Go left. <laughs> See how obvious that was? You knuckleheads? <laughs> There's like a sign like, hey, look. <laughs> Yeah, they really need to mark that intersection better. <laughs> I was watching you guys and you're like running kind of down the trail. I'm like, I wonder if they're going to miss it. I totally should have let you go just to, just for a few. <laughs> just running down this beautiful single track. Heading up to four and a half miles from Robinson. It's like some fresh trail work right here. Thank you, trail work crew. That's yeah, a beautiful day. Uh, unfortunately, not going to be hot. There's even a little chance of rain today. So it's highs in the 60s. Low is, I think we started in the 40s. It was pretty cold. Look at this trail. So we're a little over seven miles in from Robinson's and 
400 feet of descending I'm sorry 400 feet of climbing 1800 feet of down so it's been very little uphill so far and just down 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 on this deep road Sarah, she's, you're, oh. you are going to miss this on race day. This is not the way. So Sarah, on race day, put up your antennas. Pink and markers that say this way, you may want to follow. I'm literally just take off and say I'll see you guys in Auburn. Yeah, pretty much. She said hashtag see you at Auburn. Yeah, I gotta document the training run, so uh, yeah. running with the pickers is a highlight. And my ultra teammate Jenny. Yeah. Tomorrow. Oh, cool. <laughs> I just got it. Mine was one of the ones that got stolen. The, it lost in shipping. You what? My, my bag was one of the ones that got stolen. Oh, like no. lost, so I didn't get it until about a week ago. Oh, no way. Yeah. So this is my first time wearing this shirt. Oh, cool. Yeah. Yeah. It's like you're starting to be at every race I go to. Yeah, well, I think we have been in the past. It's just we didn't really know each other. Uh, no. I mean, if they need volunteers, maybe. I'm, I'm not going to race. That's too close. It's like, what, the week before states? So we're coming in the first aid station. And of course, I've only had three drinks of water so far. Because <laughs> it's cold. I just forced myself. Hello. Dusty Corners. Hello. Wow. But yeah, it's the same technology. Hey, Vivian. How you doing? Yeah, she's gone. No, she's here. We're waiting for you guys. Okay, cool. Hi, I'm Sarah. I'm Vivian. Sarah. Sarah. Okay. Yes. Good to see you too. Awesome. Can you grab one? Water. Yeah. I'll just top off here. Well, the next one's like 11 God or something like that. God for wide mouth bottles, can I right. just tell you? Yeah, it's about 11 miles. Alright, cool. How are you? How are you? I was hoping I was going to get to see you. Water? No. Oh. Tea's coming up. I think it's on the way. Good, I'm just here for a good time. Okay. Are you running to get to the show? No. I know, I came down for a good time too. Oh, sorry. There you go. Thank you. I'm getting a little better with the aim. See that dude? I, might actually hey. I took two I drinks out there, so I'm just down in this thing. Oh man. We're just chatting and yeah. The miles go by so fast. Yeah. Thanks so much. Thanks so much for being out here. Yeah. I'm not even hungry, but I better eat something. Yeah. 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 I know, I think maybe are I met, I, I mean, I finally got to run that, um, that section. Um, are we all good? With the... Uh, Where's Dino at? I did. Oh, no, I didn't do that one. I did the one back in the Like yeah, Wonder Bread. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, the was just what I haven't had Wonder Bread in years. Oh, yeah. So we just hit eight, mile eight. Out of Dusty Corners with Alex, there's Vivian, Sarah, oh yeah, you're going to be in another YouTube video. We got Dino and Chris here, we got the whole crew. We got the whole crew. Hey Dean, I do have a, a spare Ultra Spire pack. This one, if you want to use it tomorrow, I brought two. I don't know why. Hey Sarah, yeah, go here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we're 
Not really. Not really training or not really secret? Not really secret, not really training everybody, <laughs> but not. He's on his special really program. Oh, uh, okay. But that's why I was like, I gotta get up here. Yeah, this is a perfect 70 miles in three days. It's really great. Yeah, that's one way to get in shape. I've been, I've been running. It's weird, like, how you're running. Like, I thought I could come back and get one of the bats. Yeah. I've been running, going, I've never run next year. So we, when I did San Diego 100, we went off course. That's why I made my mistake. And, uh, that Chris right there? We went downhill. Yeah. Riding we caboose. Course, so we yeah. had to turn around. Yep. And uh, so the, my pacer was like, I don't know how you got this long. And I'm sitting there and I, you know, it's like mile 75. Yeah. And you breathe hard. Almost to mile nine. From Dusty, from Robinson's. So pretty much just add 31 miles to the mileage I'm giving to you because that's where we started at, at Robinson's. So right now we're about 39 miles into the race. And this is what we're looking at. My wife Charlotte is having a piece of Okay. You can see everybody, the line we got going on. We're all just running a really nice clip. Yeah. No, she's uh trail's incredible. Behind us, we have a pretty long line in here. A bunch of friends, <clears throat> a bunch of new friends. Yeah, he would be nice if we picked up Brian somewhere along the way. Uh, Brian Hildreth, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's a few. Look at the rubric one, is this here? Yep, is this here? Yeah, he doesn't suck. Look at that. Pretty technical coming down. Yeah. But, oh, Look at this section. These are pretty, that's even more than pretty rad trails out here. <coughs> Basically at mile 40 of the race. <laughs> right now. Come through here. Heading down into the canyon. It's gonna be real hot, I'm sure. During the race. I met with her once a week, and she would go over the riding. My riding. And you showed that the first time. Isn't that true? My wife thinks it's all this running. I just think I'm stupid. Yeah. Woo! Look at this view. This is another reason to bring the GoPro. You can keep running and just video what you can't look at. Yeah. It's a lot better than Dean's back end, I'll tell you that. Aww. Look at this. Yourself, Woo, look at that view to the right, people. So we're just at mile 10, which would be, so we're at mile 41 of the race right now, basically. Yeah, we're at mile 10, so we started at mile 31-ish. There's another pop out here. You can hear the water running down below us. And then race, this should be where the heat's getting turned up. Right around mile 41 to 42. Just hot. 
you can actually feel a little bit of warmth. A little bit. Oh wow, look at this. Yeah. Uh, there's the water down in the river. See the river down below? Beautiful. Oh, dude, that's, that picture right there. Look at that shot. Yeah. That little blue. That's beautiful. Sarah's got us hooked up. Yeah, it's so beautiful. Look at it. We're just going down this river valley. Amazing. Why you want it? You going uphill? Yeah. Why are you going so far? It's the first time. Why right. are you doing this? I don't know. Why are you not eating yet? Because like, I'm not hungry. Well, it's the start of the way. You know? Yeah. Teamer. Hey dude, How are you? my name's Chad. I'm Justin. Justin? Yeah. Good to meet you, bro. Thank you. How you doing? I'm all right. Keep running the race? Yeah. How about you? Yeah. Nice. How many hundreds have you done? Oh, this is number eight or number nine. <laughs> veteran. Nah, how are you? Um, four. <laughs> Sorry. This is one of my teammates right here, man. I gotta stop and get an interview. Are you videotaping or turning oh, Sorry. <laughs> I am. Yeah. So Justin, right? Yes. Justin. What's last name? Chad yeah. Bruce. Yeah, I've done 400s. Awesome. The first uh, Western? Yes. But you, yeah. yeah, I got it with four tickets. Huh? That's lucky. <laughs> I know, dude. I was, I'm running Bigfoot 200 this year. Oh, wow. So my whole year was dialed in right. for that with my coach. And I got in, I'm like, now what do we do? He's like, we train for Western, bro. That's what we're doing. <laughs> so. Awesome. Yeah. Here we go. How long have you been on the red team? I heard you're good with uh -huh. <laughs> Right? Six. Yeah, Sarah, right, not left. Six. Nice. That was my second. I was trying to get on for so long. Right. <laughs> I was like applying it. Yeah. Like six, seven years, probably about as long as you've been on it, maybe longer. I gave I got to where I wasn't even. I would apply, but I was like, yeah. not going to happen. And then when I got the email, I was like, what? I was like, so you guys at work. I was like, whoa. This is Justin. Justin S. Dean. North Carolina, right? Yeah. He came a long way. Long way. And he just rolled an ankle. Uh-oh. He's a trooper, though. So we're just coming up on. 13 miles of the run. So we'd be about 43. So we're just coming up on 14. So 14 miles. So about mile. Uh, 44 of the race. And just from Robinson. So far, in 14 miles, we've climbed 3,000 feet of climbing and just over five, I'm sorry, 3,000 feet of descending. And we've only climbed just over 500 feet. So this is a huge downhill. <laughs> I mean, it's basically 12 and a half miles of downhill with a, with a couple, with a couple rollers. They could be about 500 feet of gain. So I, everybody says to you gotta condition your quads. I can see why it's just down, down, down. So far from Robinson, very little climbing. Just, it is a spectacular run though. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Back in the day. Alright. Winton timber up the hill. Western States Trail. Woohoo! section yeah man this is beautiful in here the 
<laughs> yeah. and Sarah rocking it. I remember this part in the movie Unbreakable. I think this is where Killian goes jamming by Anton in this section. Oh dude, you gotta watch it. So yeah, I think it's, uh, I think it's Rose. It's, it's three guys, I forget, Killian and Anton, and they're just bounding down this. Then all of a sudden, Killian just like runs up on the edge of the cliff, passes both guys, and he's gone. And even Anton said, like, I couldn't believe, like, that dude was gone, like, quickly. He was like a kid in a candy store, man, jump in. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he was like a kid. I mean, he was a kid. He was super young. But he was having so much fun. Like through this section, see how technical it is. Yeah, you gotta watch that movie all the way through, it's rad. Oh, there's a bunch of them, yeah. Yeah, Billy Yang's done a bunch. What's that? This is the section I'm gonna walk. Yeah. All <laughs> right. All right. So, so we're mile 15. So we're mile 46. A little bridge crossing here. I can't wait till we get to a climb. We're just descending, descending. <laughs> Seems like we should be starting to climb here pretty quick. So we're coming to Five runners or three oh, I, horses? I, I, I think I'm, I'm not counting. I know, right? Look how beautiful this is. Wow. Shoo. So beautiful. It's just legit perfect weather. What's this? My muscles are like, huh? Uphill? So cool with the breeze and the, the noise of the river down below. This is where you take a rest. So here's a spot to take a dip. So it looks like we are on a climb. Finally a climb. Yeah. So we're on the climb to Devil's Thumb. I'm at right at mile 16. Which would be 47 in the race. So I can see why this climb's tough. Very steep. Good one though. We were ready for a climb. 
my climbing muscles feel good though, you know? After all that downhill, my, my legs are like, let's go. <laughs> my calves feel better now than at the beginning of the time. Right? I think I need to quick ease in and then like now it's fine. Yeah. So like after the downhill, I need to loosen up. <clears throat> But sometimes I like you can see all the other runners up there. Oh, I do like these climbs so Yeah. Sometimes it's just like where you can decline, head down. This is a legit climb. It's steep. See how steep it is. The switchbacks are marching. There's Amelia running for some reason. <laughs> Amelia is knocking it down. Oh, wow. <laughs> you want to go around or? You good? Oh, I'm, I'm good. It's amazing to have water flowing this high up. This will be a welcome sight. It's still, you think it still should be here in the race. I mean, it's only four weeks away. It's running pretty good. <laughs> this looks like Poison Oak Alley right here. <laughs> it looks so green and glossy. Yay, Sarah! Whoop, whoop. Ooh. On race day, I'm not going to be running this, so. Yeah, look at that group behind us. On that way, like, white bar Huge group around us. Yeah. Glad I'm not behind them right now. Yeah, that was a bad time to, on that downhill. That uphill would have been also, uh, because every step, it hurts even more than. Yeah. When you. How are you doing? Thanks for putting this on. I know. How are you? Yeah, first aid station, yeah. Um unless you're not an altitude person, it can be tough. But um beautiful. It's a little sneaky. No, the high country. Because a lot of people don't go up there. So it's kind of rugged. Yeah. Um, it looks, I've seen some video where it looks technical compared to the rest of the race. So don't worry if you are finding the trail and kind of feeling like crap. Mm -hmm. The first 30. Because everyone does. Yeah. Like Duncan, that's where you climb. That climb. What? Robinson? Yeah, that's like mile, say, 24-ish? Yeah. Okay. You start climbing up to Robinson, that's when you're like, oh, <laughs> this is the odd western safety beginning. Yeah. Because up to that point, you're kind of fine, and you're like, oh, it's not going Yeah. And then you start climbing up to Robinson, you're like, oh, crap. Okay. And then, um, but it's Duncan climb is not too bad. First half, pretty gradual. The last half is steep. Um, but yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. But it's rugged. Yeah, more, much more, like the first 30 is more technical. I mean, it's typical for up at altitude. It tends to be more rocky. Like, so like all the elites, they don't ever listen to anything they say because they're like, oh, 
closer to the track roads. Yeah, I no. still got 17,000 feet of climbing. The first uh, 100k is a mountain race. Like, oh, some will be. Oh, some it's not here. Okay. They're great. Like, they will take good care of you. They have popsicles. <laughs> um, get ice. If you're on cutoffs, they're really good at getting you out. Yeah. The year I was on cutoffs, uh -huh. they're like, leave. Oh yeah. God, I need this. Nope. We'll bring it to you. Go. They're like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. Got the GoPro. Where are you going? Southern California. Oh, cool. I'm going to San Diego next weekend. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah. San Diego 100. Yeah. Are you running? No, I'm going to pace up red. Oh, fun. Pacing is so much better than running. <laughs> <laughs> I just paced a buddy at Samo 100 the last 29 miles and I was like, this is cool. I just get to watch someone suffer and help him finish yeah. and then celebrate with him when he gets the buckle. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I'll be fun. I don't know. I haven't looked at the weather yet. I'm pretty sure it's going to be hot. San Diego usually is. And yeah. so I can hear everybody say, Katie, <laughs> oh, you're a rock star. <laughs> well, thanks for all the info. Yeah. Hopefully we can share some more miles. You, you've got it. So you sound very experienced. You know Angela's crest. <laughs> I hope so. We'll do the best we can. <laughs> We're coming in with the rock star. <laughs> I'm ready to drop. The heat. I can't. This is a girl. Her, she finished it last year and her dad ran it and, and finished right at the end of the golden hour. Uh -huh. So she's kind of with the race. I reckon when we were walking, we were like, are you related to somebody in the race? And she's like, well, kind of. <laughs> so she was giving me the whole, us the whole skinny like the last two or three miles up the hill. She had, she stopped to take her sweater off. That's the girl, yeah, that's the girl we were walking with, yeah. So she caught back up to us and we finished it out. That's super cool. I love how everybody gives like all their yeah. tricks and. Rappers, rappers, we got rappers. Oh, can you do me a favor, actually? Nope. In, in the pack, there's one of the people. So you don't have a bladder today, then? No, it's like I, if I, I was thinking on this section, I needed maybe, but I also had it one oh. small bottle, and that's it. And since. Yeah, it's nice, but it's a, it's an 11 mile section, so that's why that girl ran out of water. So I but I didn't. So that's what you want to make sure. That's the section I was telling you about. The people run out of water. Yet. Yeah, for whatever. So there is an aid station that is that wasn't there today. Yeah, so you right around there. the sign, right? That Michigan Bluff sign, somewhere in there. I don't remember. You, Andy, Katie. Ooh, there's one more peanut butter and jelly for me. If you don't mind. Thank Not, you. Never mind. We got more. Yeah, you signed up for all three days, right? Yeah. yeah. Where did you guys do for dinner last night? Beach Hut. Beach Hut? Oh. It's in the middle. You guys want to go? I would prefer to. Yeah. Was that the double scum? Yeah. Yeah. Well, didn't you see? I'm assuming that rock over on the side was yeah. double scum. Yeah. Yeah. A lady was nice enough to point it out to us. I didn't know. So I'm about 19 or 18. So that would be mile 49. To 50 of the race. Gone through the first canyon section up Devil's Thumb, super steep climb. Uh, we were hiking at a good pace, and it's like 22 to 24 minute miles. So I can only imagine with another 31 miles on our legs. I know these these are. Pretty incredible. Real green with the big trees. I see another yellow sign coming up, Sarah. Straight ahead, yellow, pink. <laughs> I, mean, I think you would have made that one. Yep. So we're very quickly back into a long downhill section out of Devil's Thumb. 
pretty smooth, so it's uh, you can definitely go faster than you need to here. Beat up the quads even more. So, yeah, so, so far on this run, so 5,000 feet of descending and 2,200 feet of climbing. So, lots of downhill. I see, I really need to save those quads through here. Some of the lookout points. Are just amazing for just coming down this river valley. So we're at so much downhill though. So we're just past 20 miles in this run. And I bet. The double stump climb is probably like, I'm guessing two and a half miles. And before that, we probably had a half mile. So probably three to three and a half miles of uphill in this 20, 20 mile section so far. So interesting, a lot more downhill than I thought. So I'll definitely be adjusting my training for the next four weeks before the race definitely run much more down. So we're at 21 and a half miles, still going downhill down this canyon. We got into one of the more technical sections here. So this would be right around mile 54 of the race. The sun's out a little bit. See, I mean, we're getting a little bit of heat. So you can only imagine, you know, add 30 degrees at least. Because we're probably in the, we might be in the low 70s now. So yeah, about 30 degrees on, on, on a typical race day. Be brutal. So we can see how exposed this is, but you can see the train is very, very runnable, but there's definitely quite a few rocks. I've heard the, the term California carpet for this race, and it's definitely like this right here, it's just perfectly smooth, but there's definitely rocky sections throughout. You yeah, have these beautiful green canopy sections quite a bit of poison oak on the course right now yeah just so green and beautiful you can see kind of section that I'm in Pretty cool. We're getting down to the bottom of this second canyon for us. I think it's like the third canyon of the race. But uh, pretty steep and a lot more rocks. Put a name with a face. Look how beautiful this is. You want my table for you? Oh, that's okay. Here, okay. go with me and you, Alice. Get hey, Sarah, get in here. Beautiful, beautiful place to be. Well, look, how, look how beautiful that is. It's awesome. So race day, I guess, I guess you go down here 
and get. I remember Jamil sitting in here on a training run, and he's like, "I wish this was the end of the training run." Right. So you actually went down. Yeah, there were there was a bunch of people down there. I yeah. think that was the I place. I think that's probably what. I would love that. Yeah. So we're at 2,200, 2,290 feet of gain and over about 7,200 feet of descent. So the way I figure it with my watch, it's uh, we're at 22.3 yep. and it's like basically 18 miles of downhill and a little over four miles of uphill so far. Now, now I really get it though about people saying you got to save it because oh yeah That's start like say add 31 miles to your legs and then you just have 18 miles of downhill. So this this uphill feels um, much worse than after having 30 miles more on a Yeah. So that's what uh, uh, Craig Dardy said uh, on one of those videos I watched. The Devil's Thumb climb is steeper, but this one's worse because of the point of the race. Look how beautiful right now it is green. But it feels good to go up there. Yeah. <laughs> it feels actually even good. I know. It hurts. It's like, oh, better than that downhill. Yeah, I was, I'm, to be honest, I'm like sick of running downhill right now. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm not used to that much downhill. Yeah. Hardly even any flat sections. Yeah, it was only after the uphill to the eight station a little. Yep. And yeah. And then a couple sections before, I think right at the beginning was a little. Yeah, yeah, it was a half mile climb out of Robinson's. Yeah. We're on that climb up to Michigan Bluff. Yeah, it's a... Feels good to hike though. Approaching mile 23. Still on this climb up Michigan Bluff. It's a good climb. A lot like devil's thumb to me maybe it's not as steep but very similar so it looks like well, we're at the top of the Michigan Bluff climb obviously not but we got past the first couple mile section of it. I don't want to be feeling like I'm running empty on on the climb. Yeah. We were just talking about how the gap from the last aid station to Michigan, Michigan Bluff may need to carry an extra bottle. I was planning on using two handhelds, but on a hot day, we may need more. So there's, we had a little downhill section and then now we're back. It's not real steep, but uphill nonetheless. See the runners down below us on the lower switchback. As we are still on this climb up to Michigan Bluff. Getting a few shots through the trees. Fun stuff. Just a nice solid climb, nothing too crazy steep, but it's a solid climb nonetheless. Looks like we still got a ways to go. Yeah. 
so we must be getting to the top of the Michigan Bluff sign. I'm getting close to 25 miles. That's, it's amazing how far we've come. <laughs> All the way as far as you can see, we've <laughs> traveled. Beautiful. Crazy. Yeah, this is the trail. Yeah, I remember this this uh, dirt road. Western States Trail, baby. There you go. Whew. Slow down. You got it. What a day. So yeah, we're getting close to 25 miles. So top of the Michigan Bluff. We are just past uh, 4,000 feet of climbing. And I have 7,200 feet of descending. And we're feeling every little 7,200 foot. <laughs> Here we are, headed right into Michigan Bluff. There's the sign. There's the one. What's that? The shoes. Oh. Uh, okay, I got some hooks. I got through a pair of ultras up there. <laughs> Those are some nice, nice ones too. Not too much. Aid station. I don't know. I keep hearing about this Western States heat, and I'm like, we got a cool breeze. I'm like, what are these people talking about? Yeah. Yeah, it's what. Thanks so much for being here. Yeah, thank you. Oh, trash. I'm from Ventura, so that's where they know a bunch of these. It's a great cause to support. There's no. Um, I just have. Yeah. I love these bottles, by the way. Oh, aren't they great? Oh yeah, you're on the Ultra Spire team too, right? Yeah. But I mean, obviously you're on the elite team. Yeah. <laughs> We're in the Ultra Spire family. Oh, I've been. It's rad. It's, it's like a oh, true comment. Like, totally. Yeah, I really like it. Can I snag your wrappers that I'm spying? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on in. Totally. That's one thing that bugs me in every race. I always run out of aid stations without my trap, like dumping my trash. Yeah, and you're like, I got I'm still stuck. Well, this is, I missed the last aid station trash too. It's like a, I'm here for you. Thank you so much. Thanks Have for all left. your help. Yeah, we'll see you in a while. Well, get some water. Get some water. Anybody need water? You got water? Thank you so much. Yeah, you're very welcome. I'll do Guru Octane and that yeah. one and then uh, water, yeah. If you don't mind. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm it's not every day that just because of Magdalena, plan to one more. Magdalena Boulay fills up your water bottle. Right? Thank you so much. Let us know what we can get for you. What else we need? Fluid. Fluid. Fluid, I can tell by your hat. Oh, yeah. Did I do this way? Rock chain and water. I got a story. Yeah. Yeah. I know you had you specific instructions. Can't, you can't mess up. Yeah. But yeah, the blue one I usually do is the electrolyte. Makes sense. Yeah. Water and. Uh, How you doing? Good. Yeah, I'm pretty good. You guys are looking awesome. Oh, it's so fun. Yes. It's my first time on the trail, period. So. It's amazing. So this is the aid station I told you that most people who come here look like hell. I bet. Well, you know, that last section, the last aid station we did to here, I need more than two bottles because I was planning on running two handhelds. Yeah, so I can't run with two handhelds. I'll just have to bring an extra handheld or... Yeah. Can you wear bladder in that section? I, uh, yeah, I wasn't planning on using a pack, but I think I might. I just love the not having and stuff on me. Oh, oh my goodness, a payday. Yeah. Oh, I'll right. take two. Payday. Oh, George. Oh, thanks. Oh, I got three. Okay. So good, right? Oh my goodness. Well, I was almost out of water right now. Yeah, but that one will yeah, we'll have one more way through that, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That one will be hard. I think I might pick up a ladder for that section. You're going to drink a lot more on race day. Yeah. The weather hits a team. I'm so glad I came, though. Yeah, yeah. Because that one section, it was basically... At, at 20, for us, at 22 and a half miles, about 18 of it was downhill. Yeah. I had no idea the downhills were so long. Yeah. I'm picturing Rolly, yeah. but it's just downhill. 
Yeah, it's steep and then steep and then down, steep and then down. I had no idea it was so much down there. So that's all good stuff. Yeah. Well, just you really have to, you have to really take care of it. Thank you so much. So I'm trying goo rock team right now. Just in case like a car breaks down, I have no crew and I have to use all their fuel. And Magdalena Boulet filled it up. I mean, she's she's Yeah. And so, yeah, my friend, Michigan my Bluff. Here. Here. We had a. Here's a Michigan Bluff pack. So cool. We just had a Billy Yang sighting. Totally fanboy and got a selfie with him. It's a few miles out of Michigan Bluff. <laughs> I will not. For a small fee. <laughs> down, down, down. Mile after mile. <laughs> it's like that ultra memes where um, the dude with the dominoes sitting there and it says 50k and then it goes to like 200. Yeah. So I'm running, I'm in Bigfoot 200 this year. Oh, okay, that's, that's yeah. cool. Yeah, I've done the, yeah, the race to get around. I think it's cute. Yeah. A couple times. Was that, that's, that's like Bigfoot. Oh, is there another one? Yeah, well, they do like, there's a 42 mile that goes around. There's a 100k you can do. Boom! Yeah. yeah. What's up, Chris? Hey. Caught up to us. Hey! Doing it now. You want to call me? Hey! Oh. Hey! That's like help. I don't know. <laughs> we might not so make dinner. Going into that last aid station. Um, Coming out of double sum. Here um, comes Brendan. Come on, man. <laughs> no pressure. So I'd like to give you a word of Oh, that was for the camera. Took one for the team. I got. I put pressure on it. These have thorns. Yes. This is blackberry. So yeah. That's why you know. You can actually eat them. Yeah. So the thorns. See how they have leaves with three? Yeah. And normally you just let them be because yeah. it's poison oak. Oh. There's thorns on it. That means it's blackberry. All right, so I can eat them on the trail. Why would not eat the leaves? Oh. How about the thorns? You could if you want. <laughs> so Brendan, he got in uh, with uh, eight years Ooh, of nice. tickets. They called his name three times. Really? So you were seven years this year, Amelia? Yeah. And you're eight next year, so no, next year. Uh, eight. I'm 64, right? Yep. I'm eight. Yeah. So you're an eight-year person, so now you're at nine? Yeah, I'm everybody around me right now is a group. Ah. <laughs> I say that with love. Oh, oh, you're on well, camera. I, I got I that. Had, I had 16, got five, then it doubles, 32, six, 64, seven, right? You were at 64? Yeah. <laughs> I had four. Sarah had one. <laughs> it's the Bruce thing. Don't say anything. <laughs> Sarah and Bruce is very lucky. We're blessed, that's what we are. <laughs> so, <clears throat> let's see. 28.93, 
miles. So we should be on the climb up toward Forest Hill at this point. I know they're kind of long downhill. Ooh. Kind of long downhill. To the bottom here, out of uh, Michigan Bluff. So, did you run back and forward? Oh no, I just. <laughs> Forest Hill climb, climb up to Forest Hill. That's a good one too. How you feeling, Chris? Hey, hey. <laughs> Getting it done. Day one. <clears throat> All right. We climbed up the asphalt climb. Just over 30 miles. Ran it in with these. I would wait and we'd all come together. Yeah, except for Chris. Chris is like, dude, I beat these guys. Uh, ran down the road. 30, a little over three and a half miles. 5,200 feet of gain, 8,500 feet, almost 8,600 feet of descent. Lots of down. Exciting to run the next two days. Thanks, man. I love that part. Good run, gang. Yeah, good job, guys. Right. 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 So here at the finish of the first day, all food, everybody hanging out, Magdalena Boulay over there, Billy Yang right there, that's what we're looking at, got some grilled ham and cheese, some chips, some watermelon, good friends.